Hey everyone, so today we're covering how to prove um, polynomial identities and what you want to keep in mind is that there's going to be a lot of algebraic manipulation and you essentially want to show that the left hand side of the equation, so LHS for short, is equal to the right hand side of the equation. Um, and there are going to be times where, gonna, where you're going to just manipulate one side or you're going to have to manipulate both and we're going to look at both cases. So let's look at example one. It says um, m plus p quantity squared is equal to m squared plus uh, 2mp plus p squared. So the first question you want to ask yourself is, well, is the left-hand side simplified? Like, is there, are there no parentheses, no uh, exponents that I need to distribute or anything? Is everything ready to go? And in this case, it's no. I have to uh, multiply the parentheses and combine like terms, etc. Uh, on the right hand side, everything seems to be pretty simplified. There's nothing I can combine. There's no parentheses I need to get rid of. So I'm, gonna, I'm only going to be focusing on uh, simplifying the left hand side. So this is not ready to go, but this is good. So first thing I want to do is I want to expand this. So this is going to be written as m plus p times m plus p. I'm just going to write equals and this doesn't change, so I'm going to write dot dot dot. Then I'm going to distribute, so m times m is m squared plus m times p is mp plus p times m. I'm going to rewrite it as mp plus p times p is p squared equals dot dot dot. So I can now combine like terms here. I'm going to get m squared plus 2mp uh, plus p squared and that equals m squared plus 2mp plus p squared. And they're both uh, equal to each other, so that means I'm good to go. All right, let's take a look at the next one. So here I have the following. I have a squared plus b squared quantity squared equals a squared minus b squared quantity squared plus 2ab all squared. This is not simplified clearly because we have parentheses and this is also not simplified. So in this case, we're going to be simplifying both the left-hand side and the right-hand side. So both of them needs to be worked on. All right, so I'm going to do the left-hand side first. So I have a squared um, plus b squared. I'm going to write that again. Then I'm going to distribute. So a squared times a squared is a to the fourth plus a squared times b squared, a squared b squared, plus another a squared b squared, plus b squared times b squared is b to the fourth. Then I'm going to combine like terms, so I can combine a squared b squared a squared b squared to get a to the fourth plus 2 a squared b squared plus b to the fourth. Okay, let's see how the right hand side is going to look. So I'm going to expand this and I'm going to distribute this. So I have a squared minus b squared times a squared minus b squared plus now, uh, everything in this expression is being squared. So this is going to be 2 squared, a squared, b squared. So I'm going to write 2 squared, a squared, b squared. Okay. I'm going to distribute this. So this is a squared times a squared again. It's going to be a to the fourth. Negative a squared, b squared. Another negative a squared, b squared. Positive b to the fourth. Plus 4, because 2 squared is 4 a squared b squared. Okay, let's combine like terms. I know these two can combine, so I'm going to get a to the fourth minus 2 a squared b squared plus b to the fourth plus 4 a squared b squared. Okay, I can combine these two terms, so negative 2 plus 4 is going to give me plus 2, so that equals a squared, uh, sorry, a to the fourth uh, plus 2a squared b squared plus b to the fourth. And I see that this, this is now equal to this. So I have now proven algebraically that these two, the left hand side is equal to the right hand side. And this was a case where I had to manipulate both, whereas the first example, I only had to manipulate the left hand side. So that's pretty much it when you're uh, asked to prove polynomial identities. You want to use your knowledge of algebra and combining like terms to show that uh, the left-hand side equals the right-hand side uh, some way, somehow. If you're given a problem where the left-hand side does not equal the right-hand side, 
um, then the equation isn't true. It's an untrue equation. When the left-hand side equals the right-hand side, that means the equation is true. So this is a true equation, so true. This is true. If you ever get something that doesn't equal to each other, that means you have a false equation given to you. And that's pretty much it. So if you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. Like and subscribe, and I'll make more videos later. Bye!